Yo, what up, ladies and gents? Mr. Harris here. Back with another one, baby. All right, let's talk, yo. This video is gonna be, so you're thinking about becoming a real estate agent, right? You're thinking about becoming an agent. Awesome. Now, I'm making this video because, I don't know, I, I, you know, I don't think anything happens for a reason. I think we make things happen as well as sometimes God makes things happen. You know, the universe makes things happen based upon what you manifest, what you say and stuff like that. So I've had, yesterday I received a text message from a young man who stated that he received my, my business card on his mother's house. And you know, he's thinking about getting into real estate and he wanted some information. He wanted to meet up and talk and all this stuff. And I'm not doing that shit because I don't wanna waste my time. <laughs> But I did tell him where to start, you know, because I am, I do want to help. I am going to help. I'm going to tell you where to start. And I told him, get your license and I want you to read a certain book. And I told him to give me a call back in a week or two, you know, uh, go do what you, what was going to push you forward first. And then we can sit down and talk if, if necessary, but get to that level first, get to where you're, you're valuable to the marketplace. And then we can speak on what you should do going forward, which is cool. That's, you know. So, today, I'm headed to JFK right now. Uh, I gotta pick up the shorty. And I'm driving to JFK, and I hear the doorbell ring. I go upstairs, and uh, I open the door. See a bunch of young people, four young people. I know they're selling something because they're knocking on the door. And they said they were with Verizon. And this and that, and I'm just like, listen, we have Verizon here, Verizon's trash. I don't want nothing to do with it. That's that. But I tell them before they leave, like, yo, if any of y'all think of my real estate, because for me, I, I've grown my business from door knocking, knocking on doors, cold doors. And so for me, most people, and I know that most people in the real estate business will not do that. Most people are scared in the, in the business are scared to do that. They're scared to call. They're scared to knock on the door. So when I meet people who are willing to do that, whether Jehovah Witnesses or whether Verizon or Spectrum or whatever, that, that says a lot to me in terms of character, in terms of discipline, in, in terms of being willing to get outside of yourself and do that. When in this business, <laughs> most people are not willing to do that. So I told him like, hey, you know, listen, take my number down and, and there was a young lady and a young man, both black, who took out my numbers and so we'll see we'll see you know if they want to they want to they don't they don't you know either way for you guys thinking about getting into real estate which is why i'm making this video because i understand that you know based on the last the tv shows the hgtv real estate looks like it's this easy type of i can get into it and make money day one and i'll go out I'll leave my history out. I'll say that for other videos. But let me say this. You wanna get into real estate, this video is not about bringing you down or letting you know of certain things that you probably should be aware of, but I'll say that for another video. I'll make this quick, as quick as I possibly can. If you wanna get into real estate, number one, this is a lifetime commitment. It's a lifetime, even if you work another job, which, I, which in my opinion, it's best to start that way. Save your money. Don't make it a position where you're desperate for somebody to sell or buy a house for you to pay your bills. Don't start off like that. Keep working. Do the things that you need to do either before or after work or including the weekends. Start there. Start getting comfortable with knocking on five, ten doors every day. That's how I started. The first day I got into business, I, I said I'm going to knock on three doors no matter what. I said, oh, this is easy. And then that three turned into five. Fine, that was it for the day. Next day I did seven. Next day I did nine. After nine, I was doing 50, 65, and I just kept going. Start off small. Start off making one, three, five, ten calls. Your homework, your homework, your development as a real estate professional comes before you even get your license. And I think that's where a lot of people mess up. One, they have these over high achieving expectations of what they think the business should be or how it should be for them, especially since they're new. And then it's a situation where they're not sure exactly what to do. 
because the books don't the school books don't tell you how to sell how to market how to advertise you got to figure these things out unless you already come from a, a position of having that experience to know how to do these things and get involved and keep top of mind awareness in front of people to make sales if you don't know these things you're going to start off at the bottom like i did i started at zero and had to build my way up i didn't come there's people that come into the business where they were accountants, they were plumbers, they were lawyers, and so they have a database of people that they could already reach out to and say, hey, I'm a professional in this in this field. Are you thinking about selling or buying? Whereas me, came from the bottom. I didn't sell to my friends and family because I sold to my friends and family, family previously when I was doing Ambit Energy, right? That was early 2000s. And so, or, or, or 2010s, that was around that time. And so I didn't want to sell to my family. So I knew I needed to get business and I didn't know how to do it. But one of the things that I did read, and not even in real estate books that much, except Mike Ferry books, but in other books about black success, the constant, the constant re re repetitive, repetitive thought came, or, or repetitive statement came to mind where so many of these black salespeople, men and women, would go door to door, would go door to door and that's what got me like yo I'm gonna go door to door I'm just gonna go door to door and I've seen great success because of it now for me my F up is the follow up because I can knock on doors all day but then when it comes to follow up the follow up is what's gonna bring in the business the, the, the door knocking and the cold calling is the initial approach the following up is, okay, I'm constantly making conversations, contacts, weekly or bi-weekly, and I'm giving valuable information, and so I'm building this relationship over time that's going to lead to a sale, hopefully. Anyway, I don't want to go too deep. You're thinking about starting real estate? It's a great business. It is a life, lifelong commitment because it's not going to be easy, and it's not going to be one, two, three. You have to really be dedicated to every day I'm going to, and it's like every, anything else. Every day I'm going to do something to bring myself forward. Knocking on a couple doors, knocking on a couple calls, giving out some cards, something to push yourself every day. And I promise you, it will add up over time. Right now, the market is going to be rough. It is going to be tough. Why? Because interest rates are going up. Buyers don't have to buy. In fact, they're canceling contracts. Sellers are overly greedy where they still feel their single family bungalow is worth $700,000. And so sellers have not hit that realization point like yet where it's like, okay, the market is really turned. And that's what I want. I want that more than ever. I want this market to really go down and then build itself back up because it is way too unaffordable for the average everyday person because everyone is greedy the first book you need to read before you even get your real estate license in my opinion is the millionaire real estate agent by gary keller classic anybody in real estate sales who has had an uh, uh, an idea of being a top producer trying to be or working on it has read this book start with that book but don't finish with that book me when i got into the business i went on well I didn't even go on Amazon yet. I started off at the public library. My girl was at Pace. At, ugh, my baby mother was at Pace that time. And I went to her library. And I took out three. I took out every book I could find on real estate sales. There was three books there. Read all three books. I even purchased the three books later. Outside of the library. The public library. The school or school library before I got my license. And this was while I was, this was maybe, this was the beginning part. I was still, I just started school when I read those books. Right before I actually got my license, I purchased five to 10 books on how to be a top producing real estate salesman. Just so I can have an understanding of what the heck to do. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to cut this here. Thank you for watching. If you want to get into real estate, get into it. Don't let me stop you. Don't let anyone stop you. You just have to be aware of where the market is at. You have to understand that it's going to take a lot of work. And it is not a one, two, three, get rich quick.
Thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.